So it is wine time on the patio and today I'm going to be talking about oak chardonnay. Now I'm going to do a little experiment today and this is something that I thought I could do because I can show you this and then you can actually try this at home if you're interested. So I've got some Clos du Bois uh, oak chardonnay. This is one that you can purchase locally at any store that sells wine pretty much. So um, I think I might have picked this up at Schnucks um, or CVS but anyway you can you can get this. At, uh, it's very readily available and not expensive. Um, it's a nice uh, oak chardonnay. Now I talk about wine glasses quite a bit and people will tease me about it you know because of course you can drink wine out of a red solo cup or whatever you like but if you're really into wine and you want to really get the most out of your wine um, you drink it out of the proper glass there is a difference and here's a way that you can test this out for yourself now what I have here is three different wine glasses this is an oak chardonnay glass specifically for oak chardonnay this is a wine tasting glass so it's the typical glass that you would have at a wine tasting at a winery it's just a basic small little wine glass kind of similar to a white wine glass but even not the same as that and then this is a plastic cup and if you eat at restaurants um, where they have outdoor dining sometimes they don't let you have glass outside I know that's common in a lot of places and they'll give you one of these cups with your wine so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this this oak chardonnay and I'm gonna pour it into each of the three glasses so this is something you can try I've tried this with um, actually it was a demonstration done by Riedel Riedel is a wine glass company that's been around for hundreds of years and it's a, a German company and Riedel uh, made this wine glass for example and I went to a tasting one time where they did four different glasses that were pr correct for the wine and we tasted the wines in the correct glass and, and in different glasses to show the difference. Oak Chardonnay by far was the most dramatic difference. Now Chardonnay is a grape that it was uh, created in Burgundy, France and it's most commonly associated with Chablis in France. Um, it's also sometimes used for Champagne in France. Um, in the U.S. it grows very prominently uh, in California. This is a California wine here. Um, Chardonnay doesn't really grow that much here in the Midwest where I'm from and so the local wineries generally don't carry it. What we have here is Chardonnay, which is a hybrid grape of Chardonnay and Saval. Um, so it's similar but not exactly. Oak Chardonnay means that the Chardonnay was aged uh, after fermentation. It sat in some oak barrels instead of staying in stainless steel. And when it sits in the oak barrels, it takes on some different um, qualities. Uh, flavors of vanilla and butter uh, are two that you get a lot of um, oaky, buttery flavors. Um, now, I generally prefer un oak chardonnay, but for the purposes of this demonstration, and because a lot of people do enjoy oak chardonnay, I thought this would be a fun thing. So an oak chardonnay glass is similar to a red wine glass, but you might notice, so it's really wide at the bottom, and I'm going to run my hands because it's hard to see glass sometimes. And it's also almost equally as wide at the top. So it's got a large opening. A red wine glass would be similar with a slightly smaller opening at the top. So usually uh, on a red wine, the bottom is round and the top narrows in a little bit. Not as narrow as um, a white wine glass. Now this one is a, so it's a big bowl that stays open. And this affects the fragrances and the flavors of your wine. So when you drink your oak chardonnay from the actual oak chardonnay glass. I'm just going to do a small pour because I'm going to be playing with this a little bit. Um, so give it a little, get a little air in there and you get all the butter and all the oak. You really get the smell. All the nose on this is very, very strong in this glass and it's going to be the same when you taste it. So it's very powerful, all the oaky, buttery, strong uh, flavors of oak chardonnay. Um, now, another good thing is if you find that you don't care for the oak on your Chardonnay, if you drink it out of a different glass, you don't get it as much. So this is a traditional tasting glass. So I'm going to pour it in here. So this is a tasting glass like you would find at many of the wineries. It's a thicker glass. Um, it's just kind of standard. It's not really a typical white or red wine glass. It's closer to a white wine glass. Um, now again, I can still smell some of the... the flavors, but I've lost some of the taste on that. So I still smell the oak a little bit and the butter, but on the taste of it, because the smell is affected, you know, your, your 
uh, senses are connected there, um, it does affect the taste. So it's not quite as powerful, not quite as strong, which is good if you find you don't love the oak. You put it in the wrong glass and it's actually better for you. Now, if you really want to take away the flavor, put it in this plastic cup. So in the plastic cup, again, you now it's just plastic. It's really broad at the top, so it doesn't hold in much of the fragrance. So you can still smell a little bit of something, but you don't get a lot on the nose. Again, it's lost a lot of its buttery, oaky flavor. Yeah, it still kind of tastes like wine, of course, but it doesn't have all those flavors. And in fact, I think oak chardonnay tastes kind of flat out of this kind of a glass. Now, again, if you don't like all those strong, uh, oaky, chard buttery, you know, the traditional flavors of oak chardonnay, you find it's too strong for you and you're at a, an event where you don't want it, you're, that's what's available, but you really aren't thrilled, you can put it in plastic or put it in a regular glass of some kind and you will it'll tone that down for you but if you want to appreciate the fullness and all the, the qualities on the nose and on your palate because again those are connected you want to use the actual proper oak chardonnay glass if you are into wine uh, I do highly recommend Regal glasses um, they're expensive they're very thin glass you can hear maybe this versus this um, very thin. You have to hand wash these carefully because they are very delicate, but they are just fantastic for wine. Um, I always, I have one of, of a lot of the different uh, types of glasses, and that's the one I, it's my go-to. Now in the summertime outside, if I'm going to have to put a wine koozie or a woozy, then I'll use um, a, a sturdier glass because this glass is very fine and delicate. But um, these are really, really nice glasses. So if you're a wine drinker and you want to really invest in some nice you know, glasses, just get you one or two of each of, of the kinds of wine you enjoy and it's, it really, you'll really notice the difference. But if, even if you have a red wine glass or a wider mouthed uh, wine glass, you can kind of do this experiment for yourself and pour it into some different glasses and really, you know, get the smell, get the taste, and you will notice a notable difference. Um, if you just drink wine and you drink it out of whatever, you won't notice the difference. You have to really do like a comparison test like that, what I just did. And, and I actually did it quickly just to show you. But if you spend a little more time, um, you can really, really appreciate it more. Um, so this is just something I thought I would share with you. Again, this is a really nice oak Chardonnay. Uh, and again, it's very easily, uh, readily available all over the place. It's a California wine, Clos de Bois Oak Chardonnay. Uh, oak Chardonnays are very popular. You won't find it at our local wineries generally. We don't have a lot of oak wines uh, really. Um, and if we do, it's usually something, if it's locally grown, it's most commonly not Chardonnay, but Chardonnay, um, which is also very nice. Uh, but anyway, so I'm gonna have wine on the patio today. And in my oak Chardonnay glass, I'm gonna enjoy my Clos de Bois oak Chardonnay. And so I'm gonna say cheers for now. Wine time on the patio, cheers.